Oh no. We have an enemy chopper. Don't worry, my double A powered laser pointer will surely take out this guy. There we go, we're locked on. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Stormworks video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at radars and specifically radar guided laser system. Not really even laser systems, but just a guided system from radars in Stormworks. Let's get started. So we're here in the editor, here's my little base we got right now and I'm going to be using a velocity pivot here, I'm going to be using the large one found the smaller ones, at least when you're doing pitch, they can get a bit wobbly and fall over but uh, yeah, so here's the your cool thing about a velocity pivot is that it's full 360 degrees the input is actually how fast it rotates instead of how much it rotates unlike a robotic pivot which you might have seen as well so i'm going to build out a couple of blocks here maybe i'll build out a whole little shelf and then we'll get another two pivot right here this is just my example you can use as many as you like as little as you like yeah so that's going to be how we control our pitch as well so next I'm going to take the opportunity here to use one of my radars. I'm going to be using the smaller 5000 range radar. You could use whatever you like. Um, obviously you might have a bit of a hard time moving this giant thing around. But uh, So we'll put one of the radars in vertically like that. And I'll go into why in a minute. But let's just get the other one down real quick. So we'll come in here. We'll join this together and we'll merge these two because they are still separate right now and so what we have is a radar facing horizontal I've got the arrow coming out in the direction that I want my radar to face forward but yeah you can do it whichever way you like and the direction arrows for any of this so far doesn't really matter because we can reverse it later on so the next radar is going to go right on top here same direction but uh, basically what we're doing here is if we go into the logic tab I'll go through some of the things on the radar what we're going to be using most is going to be the elevation angle this is going to be if a radar has something in its sights the elevation angle will tell us how far up and down it is compared to its horizontal way this radar right here because it is vertical it is going to be judging our left and right while this one is going to be doing our up and down that's why we have two Next is going to be FOV, and while we're actually here, we can actually input this. This is going to be, well, field of view, and how much it can actually see within its range. So we'll be using the maximum of that, which is going to be 0.125. So we'll get a constant number here, we'll just put it on the side, and we'll give that a 0.125. That's going to make both of our radars have their maximum FOV for tracking. One more thing before we go into the whole logic of this, I'm going to grab a laser distance sensor because to test the tracking capabilities of this radar, I want to have some kind of way to see where it's looking directly. And so I'm going to be using a the laser pointer on here, which I'm going to need an on signal for right there. So now I am in the microcontroller screen because we're going to be making a whole logic system for this that you can incorporate into your any of your radar tracking systems and uh, yeah so I've got a 2x2 two two right now but I'm probably going to be using six nodes on here um, it's again up to you some of these are optional what I'm going to do is grab two on offs and I'm going to label these tracking on and off that is going to be an input to say whether we want the radar to actually track that is optional you could have it always on we have target found this is going to be from any of our radars that we're using and it's going to say if you found a target then enable tracking next i'm going to grab two number inputs and these are going to be from the radars so we're going to have radar pitch elevation that's going to be from our actually horizontal placed radar and we're also going to have your elevation and the next one I should be pretty obvious uh, is going to be our pitch and your outputs. So here we go in the actual editor here. Now I'm going to grab all my outputs and put them on the right and all my inputs on the left. I'm going to line them up so your is on the bottom in this example and pitch is on the top here. And I've got my two on offs here. Let's actually start with those because they're pretty easy. If my tracking is on, that's going to basically tell this whole system to start working 
and as well as that if the target found is on that's going to send my whole thing working so I'm simply just going to put an and there which is cool because if I've turned it on then it's seeking but it isn't actually moving at all because it hasn't found anything so it's not just going to like start freaking out or anything like that to facilitate this we're going to be using a couple switch box which can go right here and join up to the outputs now here comes the whole bulk and the ideas involving this basically what we're going to be doing is taking the different types of elevation and sending out something to make them not elevated basically the elevation is the distance from the target so we want that to be zero if we're tracking them then the distance our radar is facing from the target should be nothing okay so we need a way to convert what is currently going on to our outputs here which are going to change it so to get this accurate we are going to be using a couple of PID controllers here I'm going to be using the regular ones but if you're calibrating this yourself then you can use an advanced one using property numbers here and when you're selecting the microcontroller in the overall editor you can actually just change these straight away it saves a little bit of time when you're calibrating but I've already found my own values that I like so uh, yeah but here we have two pids and they're going to be governing our your elevation and the outputs a lot better than just straight there starting off with the active that is simply going to go straight to our on values that we already have set up and we're going to be looking at the process variable and that is going to be going to the elevations that we have already got coming in and the set point is going to remain zero so i'm not going to wire that up to anything because if you remember our elevation is how far it is away and we want it to be absolutely nothing the closer the radar gets to the target and the less this is going to be so the less our pit is going to activate so the set point is just zero in this case and uh, we'll wire these straight up to there and this is supposed to be on don't want to make that mistake again but another little trick for your I'm going to take this function block again and before we start putting in our PID calibrations this is just something I like to do I like to times this by 4 now what you could do is change your, your pivots down to a 1 to 1 ratio but I just think this makes the yaw a lot more accurate and it doesn't sacrifice the kind of jittery nature of the PID obviously you could increase the gain on the PID either way but I just like this having it here that I can change it really easily but uh, you don't have to do that but yeah so starting with the yaw I have found the values that I like and I'm gonna put these in there's gonna be two point no 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 one and another two again feel free to copy these um, but if yours doesn't work or you want it to be a lot more accurate um, than what I've got then go for it but uh, yeah, it's all up to you. For the pitch, I'm going to be using 8 and a 0 0.01. Pretty simple there. And uh, well, yeah, that is literally it. All you have to do is really understand how the different outputs from the radar work. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, just get this in. We've got pitch going out to our two pivots there. You're going out to the central one. We've got your elevation coming from our vertical radar and pitch elevation coming from the horizontal one. We then have tracking, which I'll quickly grab a toggle button there and we'll get the target found. I like to use the your one because it's more responsive to something that's directly in front of it rather than up and down. And there we go, instantly found me and uh, I can run pretty fast now and oh god it locked onto the table there we go keeps doing it but yeah here we go this is this is going to be the radar again feel free to change any of the pids i'm not an expert when it comes to calibrating those things but uh yeah so it's going to track the feet of the player that's just how they work um but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned a little bit about radars and Stormworks and uh, 
with weapons DLC coming out. I hope you guys can make some sick freaking laser guided missile systems. I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content like this, do hit that like button down below and uh, drop a subscribe for me. I really appreciate it. But yeah, thanks for watching.